Okay, today's topic is wide ratio. Now, I have this diagram here for you. Th that is the three phase diagram which I have drawn in the earlier video. I have already drawn it for you here also so that it will be easy for you to understand while I'm doing the derivation. Okay, now as said in the previous video, three phase system is the basic of soil mechanics. And when I said that, I mean these conventional signs which have already implicated that I, I used only conventional signs and not any signs on my own. So this is volume of voids, total volume, total weight, weight of voids. And this part is the void region filled by air. And this part is the void region filled by water. And this part is the solids part. Now this total region is called the voids region and this is the solids region. So volume of air, weight of air, weight of water, volume of water, volume of solids and weight of solids. Right. Okay. For today's topic, we are going to derive the volumetric relationships. Okay. For today's topic, I'm going to derive uh, a, a few formulae from this three phase diagram and make sure you observe them carefully. Uh, now, for today's topic, I'm uh, starting with the volumetric relationships. First, let's talk about the void ratio in this video. What is void ratio? Void ratio is nothing but basically the ratio of volume of the voids region to the total volume of. I mean to the volume of the solids region that is the comparison between the volume of voids region and the volume of solids right so the also the void ratio is represented by the letter e and the void ratio is equal to volume of voids as we have here to the volume of solids now the important thing regarding the void ratio is that this void ratio is always represented only in the decimal format. So for example, let's just say the void ratio may be 0.4 or 0.7, right? Like this and not in the percentage form, understand? Also, this volume of void ratio, when you clearly observe this, this is volume of voids to volume of solids. and the volume of voids which is this part this part that is the pink um the the area under this pink region right so the volume of voids means it includes the volume of voids filled by air and the volume of voids filled by water so this can all be also be written as volume of air plus volume of water by volume of solids understand now also another important thing which is to be remembered during the void ratio concept is void ratio is never restricted to one like it cannot be restricted it can be less than one void ratio can be equal to one also again void ratio can be greater than one now what are the cases that these are possible for now for the first case, void ratio less than 1. Let's take a look at this formula. E is equal to, that means void ratio is equal to volume of voids by volume of solids. Now this volume of voids is this part as I've mentioned earlier and this is the volume of solids. Now for any arrangement, don't just look at a certain type of arrangement only. Just think there are as many solutions as possible. For any arrangement, there might be a chance that volume of voids can be less than volume of solids, right? So for in the case of coarse grain soils, in the case of fine grain soils, in both cases it is possible. So in such cases, when the numerator becomes less than the denominator, they are obviously the value becomes less than 1, as in the cases of I said 0.4, 0.7, etc., right? Now, when is this case possible? Y ratio equal to 1. Yes, it is possible when ratio of volume of voids to volume of solids is equal. Now, 
there is no certain soil there is no a certain arrangement that shows this it might be possible for any type of soil any type of arrangement it or should only it's only a volumetric relation so volume of voids by, by volume of solids that is volume of voids should be equal to volume of solids then the void ratio is equal to one now void ratio is greater than one when is that possible it is possible in every case where this volume of air plus water is more than the volume of solids now is that possible because you know soil means generally more solids and less voids right there is a possibility that void volume of voids can be greater than volume of solids as i said earlier it all depends on the arrangement also another important thing to remember is void ratio of coarse grain soil is generally less than void ratio of fine grain soils now you might ask what because you know the fine grain soils are fine grained so when these are arranged there might be a less chance for larger number of spaces so there might they might get closely packed and has less number of wires then how is it possible that the coarse grain soils on the other hand when placed generally tend to have bigger spaces in between them so why is the void ratio of coarse grain soils less than fine grain soils now before answering this question let me tell you an example of the bentonite clay you know bentonite clay is a very very expensive soil it is called one of the most problematic soils even for construction for vegetation for what not for everything it is a problem right and this bentonite clay has y ratio as high as 5.2 unbelievable right yes it is the finest soil finest clay and yet it has a void ratio of 5.2 now generally it gives us the impression that coarse grain soils are generally of bigger size so there are more chances for it to have more number of voids as i said earlier but the fine grain soils on the other hand definitely have small space uh, they are likely to be closely packed so how can this be possible now the fine grain soils has a property called charge let me show you the fine grain soils are formed by weathering which is chemical weathering so first let's just take an example of a rock around here uh, let's just say this is the ground and let us say it is chemically weathered by some action hydro let it be hydrolysis let it be oxidation reduction or any any time we also know there are two types of transportation uh, methods also it can be transported in any way right we also we are, we know uh, like the wind transportation through wind and the sedimentation like sedimentary deposits that is the deposit on the same place where they are born right? these fine grain soils has a property of charge because they are formed by chemical weathering they have a property called charge whereas on the other hand for coarse grain soils let's just continue the same ground and let's just take a boulder and let's just say it is weathered physically so automatically the soil particles are weathered so automatically in the same type of transportation like this like the wind transportation or the sedimentary transportation like this here these particles are formed so mainly these particles are formed by physical weathering and no types of chemical weathering so these fine grain soils are very very finely divided and when they are arranged generally some certain chemical repulsions takes place due to the charge the charge we have talked about earlier right that is why there will be chemical repulsions like in a magnet like at some certain two poles of a magnet don't always repel each other no matter how much we try to join them a finely charged particle clay particle will not allow another particle to come and settle by it okay it always repels 
so every k particle have this repulsion problem and that's why they tend to move away and that's why there will be a lot of voids which we think is impossible there are a lot of voids in between them but in the case of course green soils we know it is not possible for that repulsion because there is no charge in the coarse grain soils. They just were formed by physical weathering, not any chemical weathering or such. So they are just arranged and whatever the voids are there, those are them. That's all. And no other reactions in between them. So that's why these fine grain soils tend to have more void ratio when compared to the coarse grain soils as I have said in the case of the bentonite clay. That's pretty much about the void ratio as i said earlier the void ratio depends on the type of packing so there there are two types of packing which we mainly use they are densely packed and freely packed these grains are spherical right what happens when these are arranged in a cubical array that might not be the densest packing and the void ratio is 0 0.35 for any soil right when these particles are arranged diagonally, like with the, that's the densest packing, and the void ratio can go to as much as 0.91, right? Okay, so that's pretty much about the void ratio. And if there's any topic that's left, make feel free to comment below, and we'll try to explain. We'll take a look at the porosity and other such volumetric relationships in the next video. Thanks for watching and subscribe for more videos.